Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Spectre here, we're standing on top of the villager farm today, and looking down at our grand empire, um, our village, our abode, I, I don't know, whatever, use whatever word you wanna, but um, I found this is a, this is a good place to look at the, look at the progress here, uh, I think it's nice, um, in other note, I have installed Optifine once again. That is exciting. Is my volume on? Now it is. I don't think it was a second ago. Um, the beacon is still up. That still needs to be changed over. That needs to be changed. There's that old portal that got messed up a while ago. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be uh needs to be changed. Um, so oh yeah, look at this. The glass is all fixed again. Are you kidding me? It, it's fine. You know, it's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a little tour through the museum. Because I want to see the place with the glass all together again. Uh, I think it will look nice. But, um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks amazing. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, um, so I'm thinking about doing a stream. I need to do it sometime. I still have skull and stuff. And so that needs to be figured out how I'm going to even like schedule that. But, um, so I want to do a stream, and so I have, I don't know if I'll do it on YouTube or Twitch. I feel like I, Twitch is the better channel, right? For that kind of stuff. An Enderman put a block in there. That is unfortunate. Oh, I like how clean it looks now, though. Oh my gosh, the stain, the, the, the tinted glass, too. Oh, it's great. This is what matters in here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Aquarium vibes are complete. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is this is spectacular, even. Glorious. Cool. All right. Is my puffer fish still in there? Puffer fish boy? Oh, I hear him. I don't see him. I hear him though. Oh, there he is. There he is. Little jump scare there. Good for him. All right. Well, I think it looks nice and nice and clean. Um, they pushed him over by the fire and they pushed him over by the water. Luckily, they got stuck in the grass paths. Uh, good for them. I don't know where I got the 14 gunpowder from. The farm, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, uh, what are we doing at the moment? Okay. So... We need to uh, clear out an area for the uh, monster section of the mob farm. So that is what we're going to start on today. This is so very full. So, so very full. I don't know where to put the rest of this junk. Um, let's see. Let's see here. So we are going to actually need our toolboxes that are inside the museum over here so we're going to go ahead and fly over here and grab those and actually while we're here we can actually dump the dirt that thunderstorm we can actually dump the dirt we don't need in here at the moment since a lot of this is just going to be taking up space and in the way thunder i need you to chill out there all right Alright, so we can probably take this one. We're going to need this one. We're going to need... Probably not that one. I guess we'll take it anyways. We'll take our boxes. We'll take this. Uh, that should be good. We do have a lot of stone. So I'm thinking we can make the... Uh, at least part of the, you know, place we're about to build out of stone. I think that would look nice. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out a way to sort all this. A good way. Right here. Any more andesite in here? We need a little bit more for what I would like to do. There is some. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's, let's start with that. Okay. 
So we're going to go ahead and grab this bed that's over here as well. Actually, that seems like a good enderman. Interesting. Uh, this will be a helpful for us. Okay, so we're going to start off over by the place where we have marked land, right? Um, and I'll show, I don't think I showed you guys the wood, but I will show you guys that right now. So here is the, I think this is the middle, the middle log. Yes. And then there is that log and then there is that log right there. So basically everything on the sides of the, like in, inside here. And there's a log, like, I think you can see it right there. Kind of almost anything inside this little box needs to be cleared out. Uh, so here's the middle log. The other log is right, um, right here. Here's the other log. So everything in between here needs to be gone. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of a task. It's going to yield lots of wood, but um, it's still going to be a little bit of a chore to get done. Uh, if you're curious about the floor plans of this thing, uh, go back to the last episode. It's only like the episode itself is like six minutes and there's a picture I put up maybe like halfway through, two thirds of the way through, something like that, that has the floor plan on it. So go check that out. Definitely. If you missed the last episode, of course, you're gonna have to go watch it, obviously. Uh, besides that, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, clear out some trees here real quick. So let's, uh, let's hop through that. Alrighty, everybody, here we are. I think I have finally gotten these uh, all these trees down. Why is there exposed stone here? Is that like, is that important? I don't think so. I think it should be fine. All right, I'm just gonna come over this away. Yep, I believe all the trees are taken out in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Um, so usually I build things out of deep slate, you know, that's kind of, I think it looks nice. If you couldn't tell, let me just look it over this way. If you couldn't tell, I like using deep slate, you know, deep slate all over the place. Uh, I think I'm going to use stone for this build though, uh, just because I have so much of it now. It just is going to feel like a waste not to use, so like, we might as well, right? Um, let's see here. I need to keep in mind that I'm going to put silverfish in this thing and silverfish can go into certain wood or certain stone types. So I need to keep that in mind. Now I, uh, let me just get my little thing here. All right. My little planner, my little blueprint. Okay. So I need to keep that in mind as I am building this thing. So how do I want to do this. So I should probably take a bunch of these, right? I'm going to need a lot. This thing is 45 by 33, it looks like. That is a lot, if you couldn't tell. 
Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What should I do? How should I do this? I want to put it above the ground. I don't want to have to dig out too much. So if I do like this number. I also don't plan on like putting a roof on this thing either. Um, it's just going to be kind of out here in the open. So this should be the middle, correct? I believe that is right. Okay, so this is going to go out this way. That seems like a good idea. This is where things start to get tricky. How do I want to just leave this as a corner? What do I want to do here? I think for now we're going to leave it as a corner, but we'll probably, we're definitely going to come in and fix it later. I don't know how I missed this up so bad over here. Okay, we're just going to collect these. Okay, and then, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put a perimeter on here. Um, and, you know what? We will wait on the perimeter. I hear it's zombie villager but that's kind of strange so we're gonna leave that alone okay so we're gonna come back over here let's see what should I do with this I can do this number and then this can go out to here then I can get rid of this in the middle and then for this hmm this is gonna be tricky I think oh maybe not maybe I just do this number or I do just do a little pattern like this I think it should look just fine. If I kind of come around the edge like this. And then I do this on all the sides, and then I add something on here to make it more look, look kind of like a tower almost. A tower vibe is kind of what we're going, like a mini, oh. Okay, a little baby tower is what we're going for. That's the vibe we want. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go around the edge here. I'm going to do this to the corners, and I'm going to put in a floor. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take get that knocked out. Alrighty guys, so I have the perimeter done. Uh, we did have to take out some of the locals, uh, if you can see that over there. We'd have to take out some of the locals uh, to get it done, but you know what, that's all right. Um, let's see, I was gonna put in the floor and uh, then just move from there, but I think it might be f more interesting to uh, go ahead and build this thing at the same, to put in the like capsule type things at the same time that we are uh, building this thing, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Probably not, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. Okay, so, two, three, four. All right, okay, so this is where this is gonna start. We're gonna have to put this here. This is where scaffolding is gonna come in, lots of handy, because we're gonna have to go up and down quite a lot here. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting bit right here. So each of these capsules is gonna be a four by four on the inside. So that means that this is gonna be a capsule and this is gonna be a capsule as well. Um, in this capsule, it looks like I'm building right now, it looks like I'm gonna to try to put witches in the three slimes in here. The uh, like big, uh, medium, small. So that'll, that'll be interesting for sure. 
Okay, what am I going to do here in the middle when it... Should I just do wood? How does that look? Um, I'm sure it'll look fine. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it'll work out. Uh, let's grab these. Okay, let's see here. So that'll be one. Okay, so two, three. And then the zombie enclosure is going to go here. This is going to be the biggest of them. Oops. You wouldn't expect it. This is just going to be bigger. I'm going to put all of the zombie variants in here. Uh, so zombies, zombie villager, drown, uh, husk. Is that four? I think so. Yeah. So all of those, and then all their baby variants. So eight things are going to, eight creatures are going to go in here. It's going to be great. I ran out of stairs already. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to put on the, like, as the walls yet. Like, I feel like it, it's going to be something I can see through, right? Um, glass, sure. I don't know if I want it to do that or iron bars, though. Iron bars would definitely cost more iron. But it might be better for the vibe, you know? I'm thinking iron bars might just be where I go, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because so, I don't plan on putting a roof. I'll put, like, a... I think like tinted glass over them maybe but it just I don't I'm not like entirely sure what I want to put here you know does that make any sense like I'm indecisive on a lot of parts here okay so this is two of like the 16 capsules what is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen wait two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 15. Yeah, 15. Weird. I can hear my brother screaming downstairs. I think they're also playing Minecraft. Um, I hope so, at least. Or they're dying. I'm supposed to be watching them. Oh, well. They're, they're old enough to take care of themselves, probably. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be like the same thing. As we did over on the other side. So go ahead and take care of this. I'm going to go down the stairs a lot, I think, doing this. This is it's going to be so much fun. All right, um, let's see, then this goes over like this, and we'll do the same thing over here. All right, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put in these capsules. I'll put on the, uh, I'll put up the floor plan again, just so you guys can see that. A second time, I know earlier I said to go watch the other video. Uh, if you did, kudos to you. If you didn't, well, I guess you could just see it anyways. Lucky you. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go put these in. And then we will move forward from there.
Alrighty, everybody, here we go. Uh, I believe our entire platform here is done. So this is where all of our hostile mobs will be going. Um, each of these cages, there's still a few floors I need to put in. Like one of those will have like sand uh, over there. That will be sand right there. Most of those will be netherrack. And that one is undecided because I messed up on my counting. So that's okay. I think that will be a portal maybe for the other mobs that have to stay in the nether. Um, but besides that, I think the rest of it is done. Uh, I'm not going to do anything more today on camera. I'm going to be cutting the episode here. But in between episodes, I'll probably put down a carpet going around the outside and in between all the thing, all the pods. Um, I might put up walls on like one of those, like on the zombie enclosure. I might finish that off. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll finish off one of the pods and then we will look for that mob next episode. So yeah, guys, here's what this looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I mean, it was just another building episode, sure. But there should be more exciting stuff happening in the future. So, yep, I'll see you guys then. Bye.